welcome to Cricket World TV. Now then, no surprise, IPL time continues. JP's here with me once again. Hello Jim, hello everybody. Nearly up to the 50 match mark. Absolutely right, and uh, we've had a couple of games today which uh, could have been important, but in the end turned out to be sort of fairly predictable, I thought. Yeah, I think, I think you're right, the favourites won. Another win for the Mumbai Indians. They've already qualified for the semi-finals, of course, but they really have... Uh, they're just emphasising the class at the top of the field, giving some other players a chance, which is interesting to see. And then we saw the Chennai Super Kings absolutely almost obliterate the Kolkata Knight Riders, and that's put them into second place. Now, first of all, quickly mention the Mumbai Indians game. Uh, Kieran Pollard, basically, it was a one-man show. It was, in a way. The Mumbai Indians, they batted first. They weren't going particularly well, and in the last five overs, they added 75 runs. 184 they scored in the end. Kieran Pollard, 45 not out in just 13 deliveries. Two fours, five sixes, stunning hitting. And the Delhi Daredevils, well, they just kept on losing wickets, never got close. OK, well, that was the first one of the day to be followed by the, um, well, I'll say bigger game. They're all big games in the IPL, really, aren't they? Kolkata Knight Riders and the Chennai Super Kings. Well, the loser of this game was essentially almost certainly going to be out of the running for the semi finals. There is a possibility that the Kolkata Knight Riders can still make it, but they're relying on other teams. Uh, their destiny basically is not in their own hands, and that's not a great position to be in. Story of the game, then the Kolkata Knight Riders batted first. They didn't make a particularly good job of it. 139 for 8. Ravi Ashwin, the Ospinner, opened the bowling, took 3 for 16. Might have had a hat trick on another day, was a little bit unlucky. Doug Bollinger took two for 15. Angelo Matthews and Manish Tiwari made, made a good effort to rebuild the innings. Matthews making 48, Tiwari hitting 27. But 139 for eight never really looked like enough, and it wasn't because the Chennai Super Kings were in superb form, particularly Suresh Reiner and Murali Vijay. They scored unbeaten half centuries. They put on 137 for the second wicket after Matthew Hayden was dismissed for six. Reiner, 78 in just 39 deliveries, 11 fours and three sixes. A lot of people would have been expecting Matthew Hayden to smash it out of the park once again. Uh, he was a little bit um, short of patience really on Chris Gale, wasn't he, in the first over, and that may well have cost them the game. On another day it another might day. have done, but uh, today they had uh, Suraj Ryder and Murali Vijay were just spectacular form, and they won the game with uh, more than six overs to spare. Oh, that's a fantastic win there. Now, I just wanted to ask you earlier about that hat-trick that could have been, should have been. Well, this is, a, yes, Angelo Matthews just sort of flicked the ball away and it probably just flicked his glove and was taken at a sort of leg slip. But, uh, I think another of you might say punch to short leg, but anyway. It's a lot of glove on it. Well, it's won the right. game anyway, so I'm sure uh, Ravi Ashwin is delighted with uh, his team's performance. And also, I'm right in saying the Rainer, having um, given the hat, if you like, the orange cap, back to Tendulkar, snatched it back in the very next game. Almost. He's, if they had an orange cap for leading run scorers in every IPL game, Rana would have it. And Dorka still leads the way right. 2010. But Rana has indeed scored more runs than any other batsman in the Indian Premier League. Actually, Adam Gilchrist is up there as well. OK. Two more down. Two more to go. Okay. What, uh, what's in store for us now? Well, next two days we've got the Rajasthan Royals against the Royal Challengers Bangalore. That's in Jaipur. Both of those teams on 12 points, as are the Chennai Super Kings and the Delhi Daredevils. And they meet on Thursday, so really going to be very interesting to see how the shake-up of the semi-finals continues. Every game really, really matters. Absolutely. Fantastic. OK, well it really matters that you've been here watching us, and uh, thanks for joining us here on Cricket World, and we'll see you next time.